Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. We are in the process of creating a one page website with the help of our Figma design. So we have already designed the header and the Our Client section. Now in this video, I'll show you how to design the About Us and the Our Project section. So let's get started. Here we are in the HTML of our website. So let's go ahead and delete all these H1s. And uh, let's create a section and uh, we'll get a class of about section and in this we will have an h2 and we'll type about us now let's add the content of the about us section so here we'll create a division with a class of about description and in that we'll have two paragraphs so we'll just copy this text from here and we'll paste it here on the first paragraph and we'll create one more paragraph and we'll paste this text and then we have this image here on the right so for that let's go ahead and uh, add the img tag so outside the about description division we will have an img tag and uh, for the source we will type images slash about dot png this is the name that I've given for the about image. So that's basically it with the about us section. So let's go over here and uh, give a comment end of about a section. And I will also create a section for the projects. So here let's type section and uh, we'll give it a class of projects section. And uh, in that we'll have a heading and we'll type our projects. And then we'll create a division with a class of projects gallery. And in that we'll have all the images of our projects. So we'll type img and images slash project one dot png. And we have six projects over here. So let me just duplicate this five more times. And we'll type project two, three, four, five, and six. And then we also have a button for view all. So outside our projects gallery division, we'll create an anchor tag and uh, we'll just type hash over here. And then for the class, we'll just type btn and cyan. And in here, we'll type view all. And that's the end of the project section. So we'll just type a comment end of the projects section. Now let's go to our website and see how it looks. So if we scroll down, we can see that the about section and the our project section and the button is already styled because we had styled it here in the hero section and we want the same styling that we have in the heading of the our client section to the heading of these sections as well so let's go to our CSS and here we can see that for brand section h2 we had given this style so let's add the section heading as well so we'll type section h2 and we'll add a comma over here and even for the after we will type section h2 after so this should give us the same styling as the our client section so here we can see about us and our projects are styled correctly now first of all let's set some styling for the paragraph so if you go over here to the figma file and if we double click over here and here we can see that for the text we have a size of 16 pixels and for the line height we have 32 pixels so the line height is double the size of the text so let's go over here and we will just add some global styles so we'll go over here on the top and here we will type paragraph and we'll set the line height to 2 which is twice the font size and we'll also set a margin bottom of 20 pixels and then if you go over here and uh, if we hover over this section and the second section we can see that we have a gap of 100 pixels so let's set a padding top of 100 pixels for all the sections so here we'll type padding top 100 pixels and also for the color of all the paragraphs inside sections we will set the dark color so we'll type color var dark color Right now in the about section we have to set this text on the left and the image on the right so we can use display flex for this 
now if you go to the index.html file we can see that we have this h2 over here and then we have this division called about description and then we also have this image so if you set the display to flex then this heading will be here on the left and then we'll have this content and then we'll have the image on the right so let's go over here and add a new division with a class of section content and we will add the about description and the image inside this section content all right so now let's go to our style.css and we will style this section content so we'll type about section section content and we'll set a display to flex and also align items to the center and we'll also add some spacing between this text and the image so let's go to our figma file and uh, let's hover over this and uh, we have a spacing of 102 let's round it to 100 pixels so let's go to our style.css and uh, here we'll type about section section content img and we'll set a margin left of 100 pixels so we have styled the about section now let's move on to the our project section and uh, let's go to our uh, css and uh, here we'll type project section so let's type projects gallery so here we can see we have given a class called projects gallery for all these images and we will set the display to grid now we can see that all the images are lined up one below the other now we can set a grid template columns so that uh, we can choose how many images will be in one row so here you have to type grid template columns and we'll set it to 1fr 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 so you can see we have three images in a row and we will set a gap between these images so let's go to our figma file and uh, let's double click over here and uh, here we can see we have a gap of 18 pixels and uh, here we have a gap of 40 pixels so let's go to our css and uh, we'll give a grid gap of 18 pixels now we have a gap of 18 pixels for the columns as well as rows now for each of the rows we should have a gap of 40 so here we can type grid gap of 40 pixels and 18 pixels so now we have the correct gap now let's go back to our figma file and uh, let's see what is the spacing between the button and these images so we have a spacing of 42 pixels so let's go to css and uh, here we will type margin bottom of 42 pixels now let's go to our website and see whether everything is working all right so the our project section is working all right let's also set the width of the images to 100 percent so that even if you have an image with a smaller width it should be placed perfectly and we'll also set object fit to cover so that the aspect ratio is preserved all right that's it with this video we have designed the about us and the our project section so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day